you are known for films like uh, Company and Satya. Do you think PM Narendra Modi will be that film that you'll be known for also? I think uh, not because of any uh, you know credit going to me. I think just the legendary stature of the character. Mm. Uh, he's, I think, uh, carved his name uh, in contemporary history. And to be able to play that character on screen is uh, an amazing experience and an amazing good fortune of mine. Okay, uh, is it different from playing any other character? I mean, playing a political figure in a film like this. Is it different from other characters? Are you more cautious or anything of that sort? No, it's not about cautious. It's a figure that's so relevant in today's political sphere and you're seeing him mm. uh, you know, every single day. So there's an immediate reference point. It's not somebody that lived 500 years ago. Yeah. Uh, the second thing is that uh, you know you have to find a fine line between mimicry and uh, trying to be faithful to you know the role, the scene, the emotion of the moment. Uh, if you try to mimic him too much, then it becomes a comic affair. Yeah. Um, so I've stayed away from that. Yeah. I, we explored the whole Bhaiyor Bano and Mitro bit and realized that no, the focus should be more on the inspiration story. Uh, mm. You know that made him who he is today, the man we know. Uh, did you ever get to meet him for the preps? Uh, uh, well, I've had the good fortune of meeting him from the time that he was Chief Minister of Gujarat till the time he became Prime Minister, multiple times. Okay. So I've observed him closely uh, over the years. I've interacted with him. I've had the opportunity to study him in a way. Mm. And, uh, and that really helped with uh, the role and the performance. Uh, did did he, has he seen the film or portions of the film? What, what are his thoughts or do you plan to show the film to him? That's between him and me. Okay. You are also, uh, your family is also a producer, your father is a producer of this film. Uh, does that uh, change anything and does box office uh, numbers now, are you looking all after that as well? Is that playing on your mind? I've never looked at it. Um, I think it's never been a driving factor for me. The experience, the satisfaction creatively is where uh, what's driven me all these years and uh, it's kept me in good stead. The uh, box office aspects are being taken care of Sandeep Singh. Mm. who's a fantastic producer and um, I'm sure he's more than capable to do it. In all your films, I don't think there is any film in which uh, your performance uh, has been criticised or not appreciated greatly. Uh, not, I mean, criticised greatly. So, you have always been appreciated no matter how the film was. So, how do you see that? Is it the way in which you approach each character, each film? Or how would you credit that? Well, thank you firstly for the compliment. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I try to take a perspective, you know, some of it is research based, uh, some of it is just about immersion, immersing yourself into that role, imagining it. So if you're doing a f- fictitious character like Carl mm. uh, in Krish 3, mm. so it's all about imagining it and trying to give a take on it. Mm. Um, and lucky for me that uh, the take I took was appreciated by my director and producer and everybody and said, Kine, yeah, chala gira, let's do it. And some films that uh, like PM Narendra Modi are uh, not about the fiction aspect, it's more based on what's happened in his real life, incidents that inspired him, changed his life, shaped his life. Are you very self-critical? Do you look at yourself on the screen on your previous films and say, oh, I could have done this better, I could have done this in the right way or in a better way? Always. I think uh, that's what keeps you going. I think if as an actor you're becoming too self-consumed and you know, there's enough people to uh, praise you. Mm. You should be critical of your work because that's the only way to keep going. Mm. Uh, when you started this film, uh, did you think of the controversy that might arise? Did you ever think that this will be such a controversial film? Obviously, it was a it is a political film. It is about Narendra Modi. But did you ever imagine itna sara controversies hogi a movie? No, when I started the film, I only thought about the film. Okay. I only wanted to do this role. I wanted to do the best I could. Okay. Uh, when it came to releasing the film uh, and all this controversy started, at first I was quiet, I think uh, the noise started quite early. Uh, but then when I realized that there was too many lies being spread about us, uh, about being backed by the BJP or funded by this or funded by that, all that nonsense, mm. uh, then I realized that it's time to come out there and speak on the front foot. Mm. And now how are you feeling that the film is finally releasing and it's... So got excited, it. so excited that I can share this film with all those wonderful people who've supported us through these two weeks of trauma, tumultuousness, they reached out to us, they prayed for us, sent us their blessings. So now I want to share the film on the 11th of April with all these people and uh, get their uh, love and responses. And uh, now, do you think the controversies will actually also help the film in a way because more people are aware about the film? I don't know. I think 
there's two sides to everything. I think yeah. controversy, the effort, the energy that it takes, the, um, the 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 insecurity of whether it's going to happen, whether it's going to get stuck, uh, it does hamper all your planning. So that's one negative side of it. And mm. if you want to look at the the rainbow in the storm, uh, then that is the awareness aspect that you mentioned. Hmm. I'm sure there might have been uh, times when. Uh, uh, things are not things have not gone your way professionally or personally then how do you see that and most importantly professionally do you feel that urge okay I want to act and uh, there are not enough exciting projects coming my way so how do you see that I look forward to all the work that I've got I've been fortunate uh, you know for me it's been about the cinema mm. so if I get a Malayalam film like Lucifer and I love the role mm. then I don't care about uh, you know, oh, this is Malayalam film. I just jump into it. I throw myself a new challenge, and I do it. And now, in becomes the highest crossing film, the fastest hundred crore film in Kerala's history. Right. Uh, which is a great, mm. great, exciting thing to be a part of uh, mm. such an amazing project and work with legends like Lalitan and Manju Warrior and Prithviraj. Right. Uh, uh, so for me, it's all about uh, picking my challenges and enjoying each experience as a film. Uh, Narendra Modi. Yeah. Uh, the film has it changed anything? Uh, the film is yet to release, but uh, has it changed anything in you professionally, personally? I think uh, it's an interesting question. I've done about forty-five films, and most characters stay with you just for a short time. Okay. When you film, finish the film, move on. Mm. There are very few characters that leave an impact on you. I think this is one. Okay. It's left a, a big impact on me, and I've realized that. Um, the one thing, the one big takeaway for me uh, from Modi ji's life is uh, you can have a million critics uh, criticizing you, lying about you, throwing allegations on you. Uh, just ignore it. Keep your energy for the positive and for what you want to go out there and do. All right. We'll talk. Kuch to log kahin, log ka kaam hai kya? All right. Thank you very much. All the best for the film Thank and you. your future. Cheers.